Okay, hi guys. This is my adaptive music system. The general idea is you have songs that have a list of components or stems that are all playing based on some global intensity value. So for example, this song has a backing, a drum, a melody, and a bass. And if you open it up, you can see the volumes that this stem or component will play at based on the intensity level. So the intensity varies from zero to one. And for example, this drum track will not play if the intensity is less than 0.5. And as it gets higher than that, it'll play with increasing volume. The melody always plays. The bass over here only plays if the intensity is above like 0.3. And then it goes up like that. And so that's the general idea. And so you can use these stems to kind of craft different combinations of sounds so that when your intensity in the game changes, you can add, like morph the song to correspond to what's happening in the game. Um, I have this slider and I'm gonna use this to show how it works, but in game typically I use you know this line of code basically to actually set the intensity. Uh, so let's see how it works. I have a song player, it's set to play that song. Let's go ahead and play it. Let's do, stop it. Okay, so now it, zero intensity, all you hear is the melody. If I start to raise the intensity, you can hear the bass line starts to kick in. And if I go a little bit higher, you'll start to hear some drums. And at full intensity, those are all our components. Everything's playing at full volume. Let's go ahead and pause this. Um, there are two types of stems. There's basic stems and random stems. Uh, the drum line is just an example of a basic stem. It just always plays this clip. Uh, our melody, however, is a random stem. And so every time the song loops, it'll play one of these two clips at random. You could have as many clips here as you want. Um, but that's a way to add variation as your song plays if you have a little bit more complicated music going on. So it doesn't always loop the same stuff over and over again. Um, the song itself, when it spawns, it'll use these audio sources to actually play the audio clips. Um, and you'll see that they're all tied to the music mixer and you can set that at the song level. So this, this right here is where it sets the mixer group and it'll spawn all of your components using that group. Um, and yeah, that's the gist. Hopefully that's clear enough for you guys to start using it. I'd be happy to answer any questions if you guys have any. Uh, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check out this package. Other than that, uh, thanks for hanging with me and see you in the next one. Bye.